Why did you decide to do the A1? Why another model beneath the A3? We believe that the small car segment uh, will grow significantly in the next uh, couple of years, specifically in Europe. And uh, if you take as an example Germany, we think that the small car segment until 2015 will grow by another 30 percent. We also see that the demand in this segment to have more premium-like cars is increasing as well. So I think it's time to offer a premium car in the small car segment. I think you can describe this that uh, up to today we are driving a little bit boxy cars and uh, maybe not really fitting to their proper image. So this is why with the A1 we are going to offer a design-oriented, performance-driven car which I think will fulfill much better the current demand in the segment and the A1 will be the first premium car in the small car segment. We expect the target group to be between 25 and 35 years old. They live and work in cities. They are attracted by aesthetics, by design. And uh, I think what we did is also we built a lot of infotainment into the car because this is something where this target group uh, is very much into it. So overall, we think that this will be the ideal car for people living in the city. And it shows that uh, female and male are very attracted by this uh, car. So I think our designers hit really here the sweet spot. We are going to offer a lot in the area of infotainment because we know that this target group uh, is very interested in this. And of course, our cars will have uh, the most efficient uh, technology when it comes to engine. And, uh, the car is small, you know, it's below four meters, so it's good for parking. It's really a perfect fitting for city driving. We think that the L1 will bring a lot of new customers to the Audi brand. We believe that in the first full year we are going to sell over 80,000 A1s. And of course, when we have these people in our brand, we are totally convinced that we are going to be able to upgrade them over the years in bigger cars of our product portfolio. And this is why it was so important that the A1 is a real Audi.